sickle cell disease is an inherited blood condition. They've inherited an abnormal red blood cell, the gene within the red blood cell. So instead of it being nice and round and pliable, it, it gets sickle quite easily because they've inherited that abnormal gene. We have crescent-shaped red blood cells. That means they can't carry oxygen for as long and they get tired very quickly. I have got two kids with sickle cell disease and they suffer quite differently. For me, it's more of my joints and for him, it's like more of his back, his chest, his tummy. A sickle cell usually affects my um, legs, my stomach and my back. And he, to be honest, that's basically everywhere. It definitely affects doing a lot of physical activities because I know for me especially, I can't run sometimes even short periods of time without having to take my inhaler. It's just one of these things where you just basically have to get used to what your limitations are and there will be limitations. You might be able to do just about anything but in a restricted sense. I can't do so much physical things because that will either cause a crisis or I get out of breath and I don't have the strength to do it. Sickle cell crisis is more of the problem, the various problems that can occur. Maybe the word crisis um, is supposed to show that this body is in trouble. Sickle cell crisis, it's not something that you can just look at a person and you know they have it. Pain just comes anywhere and it can be on the scale from 1 to 10, it's ranked about a 9 to 10 and that they can occur at any random given time and there's not really any warning before it happens. Those symptoms are what you, they're referring to as crisis. So you have different types. Pain is a major one, is the most common one. Then you have the chest one. Then you have infection. They're quite prone to infection. They can have a stroke. The last crisis I had, I stayed in hospital for eight days and I was hooked up to almost every machine you could think of. There are factors that can affect them, especially in school, like the cold weather in school can trigger off a crisis. We know that it, that's one major trigger. Physical education is one major trigger. In case it's cold outside, getting them to have their coat on, getting them to have their scarves on, planning ahead in doing school journeys, having a, a care plan in school for each child with sickle cell, knowing what needs to be done for that child, Sickle cell does not stop them from being who they want to be. The one thing I, I fear the most is to, for people to look at me as if I'm an underdog or someone who can't do, can't achieve what they can achieve and can't do what they can do. I want people to know that I'm not an alien and because I have sickle cell. It isn't going to spread and it won't affect them personally unless they already have it. It's really annoying when you hear people ask all those questions because you just don't want to talk about it, not only because your legs or whatever's hurting you is hurting you. It's also just very annoying because you don't want to talk about your personal life. I guess if everyone knew about sickle cell, everything would just be a lot easier and I'll, and I'll feel a lot more normal.